unlike ours. Uh, he will tell you where. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Tim Logan. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look, there's groups of people. It's not even just a flat row. It's we're friends, and then we're, we're friends, but one of them didn't come. And then we're friends, and then we're friends. And then at the end of the night, everyone fights or has a drink of wine and listens to jazz um, and eats some fine cheese. That's a very defensive position, sir. Can you unclasp your hands and uncross the legs? It's gentlemanly, but you... A man with no socks who looks defensive worries me. Um, hello, my name is Tim Logan. I like to use Johnson & Johnson's baby wash shampoo because in the bottle it says, no more tears. I find that very comforting. I've yet to find another bathroom product that tries to, you know, make me feel better about my emotions. Uh, but the search is on. I'm looking for Pantene, don't worry, your mother did love you, but I haven't found it yet. Um, I need to believe that ghosts are real. Does anyone here believe in the supernatural? They are real. Was that, that was a ghost. Uh, we're in a theatre, there's probably ghosts here. I need to believe they're real, because I don't want to live in a world where Roadhouse is Patrick Swayze's most realistic film. <laughs> don't want to live in that world. I think um, that uh, the internet itself is artificial intelligence in its embryonic stage. It's not a two-way street. <laughs> It's lovely that you feel that it is, and you think like, oh, these other hundreds of people aren't even here, it's me and him. But, um, you're delusional, and, um, it's okay, so am I. I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't delusional, but I'm just saying all these other people don't want to hear what you have to say, uh, as much as they do I. Um, and also, Al Gore's not very funny, so let's go with, um, Let's go with what I was going to say, yeah, um, <laughs> just this once, you know, um, and if I can put Al Gore into the punchline at any point, I'll try it, and then we'll go we'll do what you want to do. Um, so I work with people, I collaborate, this is what I want to do. Do you have an idea? No, you don't, because you're a good guy. Um, <laughs> um, so the internet itself is the future, like that's artificial intelligence, it's just right now it's, it's in a fetal state. Right? So if you think in the future, like one day, just think, internet porn will search for you. <laughs> just you. Just you, specifically, yeah. It's going to know all your things. Yeah, so uh, you might have uh, been able to figure out, yeah, I'm not from around here, I'm, I'm, I'm Australian. Hello. <laughs> this is what an Australian, I like that that gets applause. I am from this part of land mass. Um, it's what, uh, oi oi oi, thank you. Um, this is what an Australian sounds like. A lot of Americans don't really know what we sound like. Uh, they, they just assume that we sound like this. Look out, Olivia, there's a wallaby in the office. Um, and that hurts me quite a bit, because we don't sound like that. I say to people, uh, oh, I'm from Australia, and they say, oh, oh, oh yeah, Australia, Crocodile Dundee, eh? And I say, first off, fuck you, you're Canadian. <laughs> Second of all, that was a quarter of a century ago. 25 years ago. Have we not made an impact on you fucking people in 25 years? Have we done nothing? Did Steve Irwin die for nothing? <laughs> of course he didn't, I know that. We sacrifice a celebrity every 100 years so that we can stay in Australia. That's what we do, because it's a very dangerous place there. So every, every century we, we take someone to Ayers Rock or Uluru and we, and we kill them with a stingray. And then we cover it up, you know. It's a very dangerous place, Australia. I don't know if you know Kylie Minogue, but her vagina has teeth. <laughs> Little known fact. 